was close. Going on, ladies. Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right. I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know. You know, Franklin. <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on. Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes.
be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. to the facility. We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Hands up you now. Let's get moving, people. Please, now. Drop it. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out. <laughs> Get the pass. All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. I'm doing valuable research. No, no, don't sh We gotta keep moving. Along here and to the left. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Team incoming. Make a call. I did. Okay, we're clear. It's 
Swipe us in. Come on. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Gore, now. I don't know what you think you're doing. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. What's that? I got this. You, hands up. The nerd went down. You want us to take out this door and you along with it? The special agents have the door. Go in there. This'll make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breach. It's gonna get heavy here. Debrief 
come with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Ain't took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? And yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. Wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <clears throat> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You mistreat you! I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... Yeah, the other ear! Of course! Uh, the way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will.
at that. You gotta love rural America. Weapons on the ground, now! Why, oh, why weren't you drowned at birth? Eat shit, pigs! We ain't going down for this! There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him.
Go on, put him down. further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else of nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. I'd park yourself there if I was you. shot like a true professional okay follow me we'll move a little further in stay quiet i think we might have a mating pair up ahead let's check it out now, remember if it's a pair we're only here for the male no does that's my rule so if you see one with no antlers leave it be blow your whistle again see if you can get a beat on them You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me, pick your next kill, and we'll talk business. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Lucky miss! me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. A time together is, is very important. I have to go. He victimized his old man! Hey! I thought they deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't, except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that it's anything to boast about. I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. Spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You want to fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent.
Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left on Ocean Highway, you'll see them. Civil Border Patrol! Removed from the gene pool. Stay out of this, you dumb Canadian! Oh, you just made this real easy for me! I want you to teach me! Civil Border Patrol disbanded. or what?
We liked each other and get going. You get in my way. I 
just got a full Ew. tuna. Loser this thing Bill. is gonna fly. You're gonna try and show me who's boss? Let's see what you're made of, son! For this? Oh, God sick. How did Are we doing this or not? Asshole? Shithead! You're gonna try and show me who's boss? Let's see what you're made of, son! Bye.
buddy. How about yourself?
Something that cheap. Hey, Gary, can I bet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your Happy fault, you stupid bald prick! Oh, shit. Hi, Mrs. Hey, Kathy. Are we gonna make that deadline? Uh, Yo, this dude's quick. just like a clown. Go on, go after him! Oh, someone call the pound! And an ambulance! That dog should be on a leash! I hope you get a ticket! Why don't you shut up before I put you on the leash? It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy, come on, doggy! Be good to daddy. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. <laughs> Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. We really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. I bet I could hit your G shot every time. You guys. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> you wanna go, do you? Do you? <laughs> You're a fucking serious nut job. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Keep your heat on! Oh, my 
Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! me! I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No, no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in, huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah, some serious corporate gang-banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now, that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me. Okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you. I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa, hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. 
Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor! <laughs> oh. Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, what you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked... This car's gonna be parked outside your house. You met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at Strip Club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. 